Okay, so we have a probability question here for the Matt CST multi-subject exam. Given a jar with five black socks, three blue socks, and two red socks, what is the probability that you will draw two black socks in two draws in a dark room? So when it comes to probability, there's usually two routes you can take. Hope I spelled that right. The and root and the or root. And if you're going the and root, you'll be multiplying. And if you're going the or root, you'll be adding. So the way we can assume this is that we do not we do not see the word or anywhere. Or we don't see the word or or the word and. So it might be hard to realize which one we're working with. So we have to try to contextualize it from this line right here. We'll draw two black socks and two draws in a dark room. So it looks like they only want us to do one thing. Draw two black socks within two draws. Um, so that means we're not doing more than one thing, which means we don't have an or idea going on here. So one way you can think about this is if you don't see the word or, you can kind of assume it's and. So we'll be talking about and here, which means we'll be multiplying something. So let's uh, visualize the drawer. We have five black socks, which are represented with circles. three blue socks and two red socks and we want to draw two black socks in two draws so we'll draw one black sock the first time and then we'll draw another black sock after that and we want to know what the probability is so let's see what the probability is of taking one black sock out first so we want to do what we want over the total amount. So the probability of taking out a black sock is going to be 5 out of 10 because we have 10 total socks 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 5 of those 10 are black so the chance of pulling out a black sock is 5 out of 10. Now we pull the black sock out of the jar so we only have four, four black socks in this drawer now. We still have three blue and we still have two red. What's the probability that we take out another black sock? This time it's four out of nine because we have a total of nine now. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine because we took a black sock out and it's four instead of five because again, we took a black sock out. So there's only four left. So it's four out of nine. And now we're gonna multiply these two because of what we discussed earlier. We have an and problem. So we multiply fractions. We don't have to have the same denominator. We can just go ahead and multiply the numerator. Five times four, 20. And multiply the denominator, 10 times nine, 90. And 20 over 90 is not a choice here, but if we reduce this, we can get two out of nine. And that actually is choice A.